Yo, P. Okay, Ray in here, bro. Wax Ray Hunter TV. goes in on the judge in the Keefe D case and says he's looking over the fact that the money is legit. What? I'm going to shout out to Wax 100, the whole Hunter site. Spin the block. Let's get to the content. It's Ray Gift TV. Spin the block. All right. All right. Shit. Shit. That was it. Cool. Bro, let me tell you the most hilarious thing, right? When you're doing a bell hearing, right? All they supposed to do is show where the funds came from and show if the funds is legal. Did you hear the dumbass judge say, well, you know, Keefe D used to be a notorious drug dealer. Are you insinuating that I've been holding Keefe D's drug money? Like, what are you talking about right now? Hey, <laughs> Wag, this sounds like a preliminary yeah, hearing more than a bell say, hearing. And then, really? they say, then they say, well, he's not credible. What do you mean? It's, well, I'm not credible. The corporation's credible. You see where the money came from? You see that? Right? I told my, my bell bob to call me. He said the company, uh, it came from. I said, yo, bro, did you go research where it came from? Yeah, is it legal? Yeah. Well, which I don't got to tell you my business with them. I said, watch this. I called on the phone. I said, hey, why are being 150000 tomorrow from my end? All right, no problem, bro. It'll be there in the morning. Well, I see the screenshot. I said, you see that? How much money they owe? It don't matter what they owe me. It doesn't matter. That's none of your motherfucking business. None of their business. Yeah. What matter is, it's not a drug deal. It's not for robbery money. It's not for murder money. What matters is, is two companies that's doing business. Don't matter. Straight up. It don't matter. Only thing that matters is, it's not dirty, and it's legal. And it it's not KPD's money. Now, you've seen them saying he got the right to do business or we want to do business with him. That's what he want to do. If he want to do a life right situation, yeah, he could do a life right situation because it's more to his life than just fucking Tupac. It's at the end of the day, he hasn't been convicted of killing Tupac. Facts. And his life story, yeah, like it's more than his just life Tupac. story starts. They're trying 19- to focus on that. That motherfucking life story started in 1980. He's 60 years old. The nigga was like 16. His rise in the street started like 80, 79, 80. So, whatever agreement I was to have today has nothing to do with the killing of Tupac because you guys have yet to find him guilty of Tupac. You right, we old clubhouse on the other side. We went viral today. We the only ones that ever niggas going down in history. We didn't took this clubhouse shit to some high tech clubhouse. Didn't even have we used to take it. I got these niggas in the middle of a two pop murder trial talking about whack one hundred, Mister Cass Jones, a clubhouse. <laughs> and the hundred side of clubhouse. <laughs> Yo, Joe, one of the biggest Yo. trials in history. Hey, whack this big. That's legendary. Just gonna yeah, show Joe. you doing something That's like legendary. you always do. You is the kid, man. Yo, you oh, that's legendary. <laughs> they can't fuck with you, Wack. This content's different. <laughs> it's documented and some. Oh, it's good shit right there. Yo. <laughs> Just keep on the raps. Yo, Wack. Yo, the motherfucker said, perjured how? Why well, perjure that, nigga? You can't, you gonna prove that. Can you define the friend? Nigga, you got money to have right now. I ain't never seen each other that's gonna tell you niggas on his app is a friend. Tell me what defines a friend. Is it somebody you know? Is it somebody you're cordial with? Is it somebody who hand you shook? Somebody you sat out and ate dinner with? What defines a friend? Because you talking about. Like, what you want me to tell you? We business partners? We not. Well, how'd you know him? We friends. He's been to my place of business. I've shook the man's hand. I have conversation with the man. Now, somebody called me on the phone. Hey, Wag, what's up, bro? This is TG3. You know, uh, 
I got my man on the phone, you know what I'm saying? Kobe and shit. I want to introduce y'all. Then I would say, well, we've been acquainted. I've been acquainted with the dude on the phone. But once Kobe comes to me, sits down with me, we shake hands, exchange phone numbers, have conversations, and whatever it is we're doing at that point in time, it's more than just being acquainted. Now, friend, good friend, best friend, there is levels to the friendship. Premium content, WAC 100, and Cloud Monsters under new management, Keefe D. What you guys think about the content? It's your boy Ray Gift. Drop coming down below. Let's get back to it. But shit, I think I'm friends with my neighbor. You know the crazy part about it? This neighbor been probably living there about 10 years. I can't even tell you his fucking name. Y'all didn't heard me several times talking to the neighbor. Hey, how you doing? Hey, they know my name. I couldn't tell you their names. You was talking to the nigga today. You had some work doing, uh, all done on your house. Look, listen. And if R and B was in here, she'd tell you the way my phone list is set up. Right, it'll just say neighbor, and it'll have the, it'll have the location, neighbor this house, neighbor that house, neighbor this. So if I get a call, I'm gonna be like, oh, that's my neighbor calling me from <laughs> where. That's how it is. Like, dig his phone numbers. It'll be your name. If I got CL phone number, it's gonna say CL Clubhouse Seven Twenty Twenty Four. That's what it's gonna say. If CO hit me in December and say, whack, I changed my number, it's going to say CO Clubhouse 12 2024. When I go to CO name, I know his last is most recent number. Well, whack, why you just don't delete the other one? Because it may be text messages, information, uh, deal memos, anything still up under that motherfucking thread. That's why. That's why, because some people just delete shit. And they be like, no. man, I, I remember I had this and I had that. That's decent. No, I yeah, said everything. Yeah, that's as my emails, my emails. That's all. Like, awesome. Watch that. Let me show y'all. I'm like, R&B, she said, this nigga, the way you, she said, but it makes sense. Because, watch that. I'm just going to show y'all a few of them on Ray J. Watch this. It's how I look, cause you never know. Nigga might call me, yo, you remember the, the beat and whoop, 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 and that beat might have come from a whole nother. Watch this. This what Ray J look like in my phone, and that's just a few of them. Ray J 2020, Ray J 2021, Ray J June 2023, Ray J Batline 2020, yo, Ray J I. Ray J Batline is crazy. Yeah, that's that phone number that nobody had. That's the one where he, you know, back aboard to the Batline, shutting down on my bitch and turning the phone off. He'd be on the Batline, you know what I'm saying? That's the Batline, you know what I'm saying? Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Hey, how many niggas you talk to and it be two, three days before you realize who that was that was you was on the phone with? Nah, I know who the fuck I'm talking to. You call me. I know who the fuck I'm talking <laughs> to. I know you done gave your number out several times. I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That type of shit. Oh, yeah. You yeah, got call. Yeah. Now, let me tell you what they do wrong. Nigga, I done gave my number out. They be like, what? <laughs> That nigga said, yeah, stay for nothing. Oh, I'm fucked up. They had called me. They'd be like, yeah, what? what up? And I'd be like, who is this? Oh, whack, remember? I said, bro, state your name, motherfucker. Who the fuck are you? Nigga calling me like, if some people could call me out. If Beast called me, I know it's Beast. He ain't got to tell me who the fuck it is. I know his fucking voice. You know what I'm saying? But niggas be like, yo, whack, what up, my nigga? Yo, who's this? Yo, remember I met you at BET? Okay, who was this? Remember we was in front? Bro, who are you? What do you represent? What is it that you're looking for? But what it be is they be in front of people acting like it's a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Acting like that's what they be doing. 
to see that why I said when I met Floyd. No, nah, I wasn't with him. I was with my homeboy Haynes work, but we was on the boat together. You know what I'm saying? That's how I would describe it. Wait, hi, my name is Amanda and I am a recruiter for Robert Half. We need to recruit 100 part-time staff. I've been getting a lot of this. I got I got two of them today. We have flexible online working hours. You can work from home without any restrictions. Salary range at least $310 to $1,060 per day. All you need is a smartphone or computer to get the job done. You will be paid immediately at the end of each workday. Work five days a week. If you are interested, please contact my employees via WhatsApp. Requirement 22 years of age and older. Hey, shit, I don't know how real it is. I don't know who this shit's from. I got that I got shit twice. Yeah, I got one. I got a solid text. It was a woman who sent me something like that, but I ain't trusted. So I seen WhatsApp. You, I said, no. They tell you to go through WhatsApp is why. Yeah, mine mine came from uh, mine came from somebody called Bearded, and mine is about tick TikTok. You can work from home doing TikTok and, and tell you a number to call, a WhatsApp number to call. Uh, made it, made it junk. Put it in the junk side. Hey, but somehow, listen though, somehow these niggas getting in your phone, bro. Yeah, motherfucker got my old phone number. And was sending people in my contacts asking for money. My boss called me like, "You need some?" I was like, "No, nah, nah, I ain't sent you no text about no money." And then he looked at the number. It was a number I had years ago. Motherfucker using that done hit like ten of my homeboys and asking for yeah, some money. Yeah, but you do know they got an app where you can make your phone number any number. I know that. Yeah, it's yeah, they got an app to where like I can call a motherfucker like I'm calling for your number. So you know if they get into your contacts and got your contacts, then they can take their phone and just do a blast or whatever, and and make their number look like your phone number, like it's coming from you. You can even have, have mm -hmm. all they self and it'll pop up voicemail on their phone. Yeah, that's yeah. Wild. Well, shit, we're going to let Doubles them get back to it. That was just a little cheat. A little cheat. It was exclusive for the first day of the uh, reopening of Cloud Monsters under new management. That's a great motherfucking title. Who Appreciate came up with that? Right? Who came up with that? Because that shit is in a hallway. Um, hey. You did. I think... Uh, we can't take all the credit. We got a good team over here, Black. You know what I mean? Probably build a good team. So I hope my friends team. over there... And, my yeah. two cent or the collective ain't feeling some kind of way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They always feeling some type of way. <laughs> they always feeling some type of way, <laughs> whack. Well, <laughs> you know, we had to do some remodeling, you know, some refacing. We changed the windows. You know, we took the, 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 the grass up. We put artificial turf. You know, we re cemented things. We painted shit. You know what I'm saying? We put a pool back there. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, we got, we got a lot of applications, man. I, I don't think back in the day the Cloud Monster was two, three hundred strong when they opened up. You know how to be? So, you know, this is the, uh, this is what the, this is what the building is supposed to look like. Okay. You know, okay. Because before it was Cloud Monsters with 100 side support and it was still being ran, uh, you know, their way. Now it's, you know, Cloud Monsters have been revamped, restructured, rehabbed, right, and rebuilt as a 100 side room and I mean you know we got the pipes is brand new the toilets the sinks is brand new we check out all the carpet we got hardwood floors shit we got an area for the animals over there shit man. we up to code we up hey, to code I'm digging basketball to make make you, you know I'm proud whack for sure you know, we got, we got motherfucking new you know we got the new motherfucker wardrobe complimented two P's with the PTRs I said shit you know at the end of the day you know, maybe we need to invite old Nisha Kim over here and see, see if she want to see how she think about what's going on, man. <laughs> Come on through, Big Back. It's your world. <laughs> hey, yo. She take them That's, shoes off yeah, and step in Welcome now. to the motherfucking cross. Hey. Man, I got a question. How do we get rid of our free tickets? Like, I hit join the house and it says... And I go, because Jay and Nicole tried to burn down T-Money House back in the day when he got the $11,000 out of her. That's mine. I I got the money. Didn't even have to 
you. So what she did, everybody important, she was, she, I think she got up to a thousand people. So she was deleting, she was an admin, but then she had turned her account off. So it took them 24 hours of people staying up, watching to see if she's gonna pop up before they was able to, she popped up and they was able to go hit on it, take her off her admin to member and kick her about it, like R&B, just a bunch of people. Well, me too, me too, what? So that's why I'm, that's what I'm wondering. no big like, deal shit, that you ain't gonna uh, be able to join, you one of them that, I mean, I don't know why the crazy delete me. Maybe it was a fear out of me. But yeah, I don't, I don't know, know why she deleted me either, right? You know? No, she, no was, problem. she was just delete. At that point, when you get a thousand deep, nigga, you ain't, you just delete, nigga. It's cat and mouse. She just delete. Man, look, for whack to make CNN from the KVD situation, and then they're in court with Clubhouse content in the court like what that's different right there what y'all think about the content let me know in the comments down below keep your notification bell turned on at all times so you don't miss out on no premium content as i will deliver 24 7 around the clock you already know and everybody out there grinning and grind keep your best foot forward yep make the most of your 24 hours yep stay down until you come up for show you gotta apply yourself you got to be proactive and don't cut no corners, man. Do it right. Don't do it twice. And until next time, it's your boy Ray Given. I'm gone. God bless. Peace. Thanks for watching another reaction video. I'm out.